guys, this is Talia. Welcome back to my channel. New subscriber, welcome. Returning subscriber, thank you. I know I have been Mia for I hit this um, channel. Well, it's been, I don't know, two weeks or something. I've been busy. And I am recording tonight. It's Wednesday, April 24. It is 9 p.m. And I'm recording before I leave tomorrow morning for a trip. I don't come back until the first. So no other video <laughs> or stitching. I haven't been able to stitch. It's been a lot of things going on. Um, my brother came from Puerto Rico and I've been busy. And as the weather gets hotter, I'm always got to run errands and my mother had to get ready for my brother coming. So I, I've been driving her up and down and doing this and doing that. Plus I had that trip coming up. So I've been extremely busy. So I haven't been able to stitch. So, but I, 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 uh, I need to get back on this, but you know, and as the weather gets hotter, I want to spend more time outside because, um, summer here is very short. <laughs> So we got to take advantage of good days and, and when it's good days, so I always got, I got to go places or I don't want to come home and go do things, go pick up my mother and we just go around stores and stuff like that. Because again, um, summer in Ohio is very short. So there's going to be a decrease of stitching in the summertime, but it's okay because this is not, this no race. And not nothing. But anyway, I came up today because, I, like, again, I'm not coming back until the first. I wanted to do the video for um, Stitch Mania. May is Stitch Mania. Stitch Mania is no longer a group. It used to be a group. And 2019 on. I think it stopped on 2022. I'm not sure. But anyway, Stitch Mania is uh, the month that is, like I said, Stitch Mania. You stitch all the things. Some people start at uh, 31 starts. Some people do half and half. If you have done um, previous years, um, Stitch Mania and still have whips in your... Um, And you think so you work on the previous years so there's different ways that you could do the you do it the way you want to there's no rules or nothing it's just stitch mania you take it from there so i only had done it once in 2020 because 2021 i did not stitch 2022 i wasn't stitching 2023 i was not stitching in the month of may so but i'm gonna do it this year and I've been breaking my hair like, should I do 31 stars? But I remember the last time I did it on 2020, I got burned out because I did 31 stars and I only, I didn't finish it because I got burned out. So I was debating, should I do 31 stars again? But then I look at my whip, I have, I have 18 Stitch Mania from 2020 whips that I have, I haven't touched. And funny thing, half of them is in my 24 by 24 finishes. So what I decided was I'm going to work on my 18 whips and I'm going to do 13 new stars. I'm going to show you what I'm going to work on the whips and I'm going to show you the new stars. And the way I'm going to do it besides because I got to work in my this month is the whip go is three numbers instead of two. So I have six whips that I had to touch. So every time I, I turn the camera, I get itch. Um, so what, how I'm gonna work it. So I am gonna work it uh, not in, usually you work it on the day you started it, but I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do one whip, one new start, one whip, one new start, for the whole month and um also i just want to work on that piece whatever hours i have to work i just want to work on that stitch mania piece but i still gotta do my 
monthly small. So I say that I will be able to give it maybe two hours, which is good. I mean, whatever you could, I could give it, it is good. So I am planning to just work on that piece because I have six, oh, the other months I got six whip goals that I had to work on, even though I still haven't worked on March. I haven't done March yet, so it's okay. It's, it's, it's no problem. They in my basket, I will work in June. I will work on them. So that's how I'm going to do it. One day, one whip. One day, the next day, the a new star. One day, one whip. When I am thinking also not to work the minis. For, I didn't do the, the ones in, Mar in April. So if I don't do May, I'm taking May to my trip. So because it's small. So let's see if I could finish it. If I could finish, I knock that out of the way. I won't do the the house, and I won't do because I want to. I want to concentrate in the stitch mania pieces. Plus, I had to work on my whip go. But what I'm gonna do with my whip go is it's just I'm gonna give him thirty minutes. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him thirty minutes, and then I have two hours and a half to work in the stitch mania one one week per day either the whip or the new star just want to work on that that's it so i'm not going to work on my friend in the month of may i'm so behind on that but it's okay and i'm not going to do the monthly house because i just want to concentrate on stitch mania so and who knows if i postpone my my whip go to Cause they came out good pieces that I really want to work on them. So we'll see. We'll see when I sit down on the first and see how many hours I have, how I could accommodate it. But I want to give it at least two hours to the Stitch Mania piece. So um, let me show you because I'm gonna show you 31 pieces. So um, let me show you the first one is which I work on it recently. So I'm happy that I'm gonna work on it again. It's the key by, um, which is my whip go from March. So if I touch it again, that is, I completely the go. I give it the first 30 minutes, I give it to the whip go. And the reminder, I give it to the stitch, stitch mania. So, This is, and this is one that I have that I wanted to finish um, for 24. So we'll see how much I could give it um, like that. And I'm gonna work on it numerical that way because <laughs> the way I started it. So this was the first one. No, the first one I finished it, which was this one. That was the first one that I started um, Stitch Mania 2020, but it's already done. So this is the, this is the second one that I started. So this is the first one that I'm gonna start working on, on the first. So let's see how much I could put on it. She's supposed to be a finish in 2024. So the most that I could advance, the better, because then it will be easy to, let me move it to the back so I could not. The next one, it is another one that I worked recently and I'm positive this could be a finish when I pick it up. So, uh, so that will be, the key will be the first day. The second day will be, the May 2nd will be a new start. Then May 3rd or whip, like that. So this will be the third day. And I am aiming to finish it. So um, this one, I worked on it on the, on the retreat that I did all that. I do, I gotta finish this and then finish this right here. So I'm aiming for finish it for this one. So we'll see. And this is also another one that is in my 24 by 24. So I am sure that I could finish this when I bring it out again on Stitch Mania. So I am excited for that one because I know it could be a finish. So that's the second one. Um, the ones I'm showing you first are my whips. 
This one is a web. Uh, I haven't touched it. I was gonna, I, when I did my whip parade, I was gonna stop this F, um, not FFO, UFO it. But I said, now let's me give it a treat. This is something that I came out myself. Um, I it's called um DIY pandemic, uh, pandemic sampler, something like that. It's something that I create that I created with the patterns that they give in and for the COVID. So this is what I have. It's this right here. So I'm gonna aim to finish this one right here when I get it. It's this very they are small, they are small things. Um so I am gonna see if I could finish this square right here. We'll see, because they are little but which will be just brief. Let me look for the pattern so I could show you. I, I have all the patterns here. These are little patterns that was given. Um, it was given free when the pandemic, and then I'm following this this thing that it was from Tiny Modernist, and then I name which pattern is gonna go any size. So the one that goes there is just brief, and it's a small one. If I could find it. I haven't touched this since 2020. So but I was gonna I was gonna um stop it, but then I was like I like it so I am gonna try so it's this this one right here it says just breathe but not on me or near me breathe over there but I don't I'm not gonna do that I just gonna put the just breathe and that's it I'm not gonna do all those words so just just breathe, you know. We needed to take a break, a breath in 2020. So, so that's that's that is my goal for that one in one day to see if I could finish that other um, little square. That is big. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it when I if, whenever I finish it, but it's a. It's gonna be a good reminder of what we went through on um, 2020. Okay, the next one that uh, it's a whip go uh, stitch mania. Uh, I started it on 5 5 20. I'm not even giving you the stats, but it's okay. I'll give it to you when I do that. This is a small pattern also um, that I got from the internet. I am doing it in a 14 count confetti by fabric fair and that's all I have this is part of the rose so let's aim to at least do the whole Eiffel Tower which I want to do it in in and metallic so I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby and get a metallic for the Eiffel Tower nothing not much of a star it is I think it's this part right here that I'm working on. So I'm gonna aim to finish. This is another one that is uh, supposed to be a 24 finish. So that's good because it pushing, it's pushing. And if I give them two hours, three hours, it gets closer to the finish. So we'll see. Uh, another one that is also 24 finish and it was a Stitch Mania star is this by um, Doreen Jones. It's a summer banner. Um, this one I will do as much as I can. I have almost the summer word done. So we'll see how much I could I could put on this. Whatever I could put, I'll take it. And this is a 14 count Ada fabric by the yard. 
So that is that one. My straw broke. I can pull it. Okay, the next one. I'm happy this one is coming out. I love this one. I started this one on 5-7. Um, it is a Jardin Privé. Be yours, you. Love that. I'm not doing the, the sheets. So I'm filling out that out. I don't think I have much done on her. I haven't touched her since. I started her and this is all I have right here. This right here. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I don't know. Whatever I could do, I think I will go up because that dress is humongous. So I think I will go up and try to do her top part. We'll see how much I could do on this one. This is another one that is in my 24 by 24. So I am happy that I'm touching them. Uh, another one that is, no, I don't think this is in my 24. I started this one on 5A in Stitch Mania in 2020. I'm doing it in a stitch, I mean, in a 14 count touch of pink. And I'm doing my own conversion with Victoria Moto and color and cutting. Thing this is because I changed the colors completely. This is the Good Intention by Kathy Barrick. I don't have much done on this one. I haven't touched it since I started it in 2020. And this is all I have. Part of the border. That's it. So finish the border and see how much of the wording I could do. So we'll see when it comes out. I think, I don't know, I think this is a possible finish. It's not a, I don't have it done as a finish. I think she is a possible finish. So that is that. Okay, another one. This is my 24 by 24, and I started this one in Stitch Mania on day nine. I'm doing in a 14 count cherub um, by Picture This Plus. This is a freebie that it was flooring around um, 2020. You still could find it if you type cross stitch uh, sampler. You could find it. So I don't have much on this either. That's all I have. I don't know, I maybe finish this medallion. I don't know what I could do. Whatever I could do, I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it. That's my starting point. I have not touched it since it came out. And I'm using just one color, six of five. Is it six of five? Six of two. DNC six of two. So that is that one. The other one that is also a 24, I started it on Stitch Mania 2020 day 10. It is by Little House Needlework. It's the home of a needleworker, but I'm not doing all this. That I'm not doing just the house and this and my name and when I was established. 
I'm using a 14 count beige fabric that I, the one that I bought by the yard and all I have is the beginning of the roof of the house. That's all I have. So, we'll see how much I could be done. I don't know if I continue in the house. The house, it takes a lot. So maybe I move to here and at least do some of the wording. We'll see. I'm not sure. I figure it out the day it comes out. So that is another one. So that is my starting point on that one. This one, I love it. So I'm glad it's coming out. It's not in my 24 by 24. I'm doing this in a 28 count even weave, even weave, and I started on Stitch Mania on the day 11. This is a checkboard house by A Little Jane by Hand Cross the Sea. I did a completely conversion. My house is three shades of pink and other conversion that I did, but I'm working on the house. I haven't touched it since then. It is tiny. So I am gonna continue working on the house. That's all I have. <laughs> That's all I have. It is tiny, but I love those colors. So it's work more in the house. So happy that they cut the new ones are coming out. So that was that one. That was my starting point on that one. And the next one, this was another freebie that it was in COVID. I started it on the 12th days of Stitch, Ma uh, Stitch Mania in 2020. It is a pattern that's all I have. It was free back then. I don't know if you could still find this on Instagram. So that is that. And... That is my starting point. That's my starting point. So let's see if I could finish at least the first war, the first row that is home is where mine. So, so this is home is. So let's aim to do the um, needles where my needles let's try to finish that we'll see this is another one that is supposed to be a finish in 20 24 this is my even week this is another one that is supposed to be a finish in 2024 so whatever i could advance will help me to try to comp then reach the goal of finish them. So that's why I want to concentrate and give them all my time to that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to forget everything else for me and just work on them so I could finish them or almost finish. So the next one, this is, this one is going to be work twice because it is in my whip go from May. Plus, it is it's a Stitch Mania with a Stitch Mania whip, and this one I started on the day twelve of Stitch Mania. So this one is gonna get needs to be touched. It's gonna be touched. It needs to be touched twice for whip go plus whatever time. Uh, so. I am going to focus on the Stitch Mania part and then after I figure it out later for the whip call. Um, this is the Romantic Stitcher by Passiano Ricano. I love, love, love her. I'm doing her in a 14 count. Ada that I hand dye myself. And I don't have much on her. Just the top of her hair that's all I have that's all I have so I'm going to try to finish her hair she has a lot of hair 
So at least finish her hair and try to start her face. I love her. I want to see her more advanced, but she hasn't been touched since 2020. So that was another one. Another one is another one that is in my 24 by 24 and it was Fish Mania number 15, day 15. I'm doing an 18 pound sterling by Pictureless Plus. It's a country cut, cottage needlework. It's afternoon in Paris. This one I'm advanced because I have the I've, I have the Eiffel Tower and I think I have both of the trees. So, or at least, no, I only have one tree. So, well, this one is a little, and it's not even complete. So, let's aim to finish this. Let's aim to finish that tree and move to this tree and see if I could start the next building. This is supposed to be a finish in 2024 also, so as much as I could put on it, it will help me accomplish that goal, right? I am excited to touch in all this because this has whips that I have not touched in years and I still love them. Uh, this one, this one has given me so much trouble. Um, I have started it a couple of times, but the, the, the main start day was, um, the 17th day of May. So I don't have nothing to show on this one is Mary Mary need a worker. Um, the issue that I have with her is that I want to do it in a trois and I was having the hardest time. I am doing it in a 28 count even weave, I think it is. Let me see. No, I don't even have a little paper. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm doing it in a 25 count Lugana. That's why I'm having such a hard time with this. So, this is all I have, and I have to rip it up because it's not, it's not, it's not thing. So, I'm gonna give it one more try. If not, it's time to change the fabric because it's Lugana, it's the same issue that I was having with um, New Year. New Year Eve piece. Um, so yeah, it's Lugana. I can work with Lugana. So this is a restart. And I love the fabric I hand dye myself, but I cannot work with Lugana. It is terrible. It is terrible. Those stitches are terrible. So she's a restart. And uh, most likely, I am going to do her in an 18 count. I got to see if I have, um, if I, one of those that I have, um, hand, that I hand dye myself. So, yeah, that's the reason I realized it is 25 count Lugana. Me and 25 count Lugana do not get along. Okay, we're almost done with the whips. And then I could show you the, this is another one. Um, this is not in my 24. I started on day 20. It is this by hand on design. And I have, this was, this was a collaboration with so much to love for her, for her bag. So I do have the instruction how to create that bag. So right now I want to stitch it twice. But right now I'm stitching it for the bag. So I could do the bag. And I only have one word, so I'm gonna aim to do a couple of more words. So 
So all I have is scissors, so I will move to the scissors, then I will do needle and I move to that. Let's see if I could do the first row. Let's see how much, oh, I did the scissors already. So I will start the word needle and then do the spool and then linen. Let's see if I could accomplish that. So that was a lot of my stitching. Okay, we got two more whips. Three with this one. Um, this is another one that is supposed to be a finish, which I know is not gonna happen because she is big. Um, it's Sick and Refugee. I started it on the 21st day. It's by the Scarlet House. Everybody was doing this on 2020 when the pandemic. Um, a lot of people finish it. <laughs> I haven't touched it. So, uh, I am doing it in a 14 count country, country, country French cafe mocha by Wilchit. And all I have is the door of the house. That's all I have. So obviously I'll continue working in the house because that is the biggest thing there so this is all i have right here this door so i am going to start creating the frame of the house so that's all i have so so that's seeking refugee And I want to, there's another, something else that I want to add to that. There's a line that I want to add to that of saying. So that was that. And then this one was started on the 24 of Stitch Mania. I'm doing it in a 14 count cup of tea that I hand dye myself. And it is um, Frida Viva La Vida. So I'm not doing the sun, the that part on top of her. All I'm doing is her. So this is another one that gives me a lot of headache too. But she is coming along. So I don't know whatever how whatever I could do. She's supposed to be a finish in 2024 too. So I'm gonna aim to finish her face. I'm going to aim to finish her face. We'll see if I could do that. So that is Frida Viva La Vida by Barbara Anna Design. And the last of the whips the I did and this one was the one that burned me out and I just did like 10 minutes um it was a freebie from from the pandemic pandemic uh I'm doing it in a 14 count and this one I started on the 24 and was the last day that I work on stitch mania that year so it's this one right here and all I have is that <laughs> that's all i have so let's aim to at least do the first the first the need i don't know if i'll be able to finish needle but let's try to do needle and see how far i could get with that it's monochromatic so there's no much changing color, so I think it's doable. So that was that one. So that was all the whips. That's all the whips that I have from 2020 there. I was started in Stitch Mania. And I'm going to remove this because 
my straw broke somewhere. Ah. And I have any issues like if I drink cold water, my teeth hurts. If I drink hot water or eat hot, it hurts. Always something with Dahlia. Okay. So let's see the 13 new stars that I am going to start. First one. It's going to be the bag. And honestly, I think this could be a start and a finish. I think this could be a start and a finish. So I am going to start, I'm going to stitch, stitch here. So honestly, I think this could be a start and a finish. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited. I want it. I want this back. Excuse me. I want this back for my chatter line. So I am excited with this one. So that's the first new star. Second new star, well, the next new star is going to be the Halloween Quaker. The Hallow, excuse me, Halloween Quaker by Little Studio. I do have the Christmas, but I have not kitted up. I've been having this kitted up for years and I haven't started it. I bought the own um, Sleepy Hollow color package that um victoria moto had and i think it's perfect for this so that's what i'm using and i'm doing it in a 22 count um aida that i um that i hand dye myself she's supposed to fit here because it's a 22 count and i stitch one over one so so she will fit, yeah, I didn't want it too big. So that's the next one. I've been wanting to start this one. I mean, I am going to double check. Um, Oh, yeah. It will, if it's, I'm doing it in a 22 count. The model will stitch in a 40 count. So um, two over two, but I'm not doing two over two. So I'm doing one over one, um, two over one or one over one. I'm doing one over one. So yeah, she fits in a five, eight. So yeah, it will fit there. Perfect. I know if it's there because it fit, because I'm the one that oh, double, triple check to make sure it fits because once you start, then you mess up. The next one that I want to Star that I'm gonna start. It is my Kringles. I've been wanting to start this, and this you see this house. It looks like the oh, I should have started that one, but it's okay. I already, I already got my 13, so I don't think I had the fabric for that one. That's why it was not in the start. Now I am using a 14 count. Ada, uh, upper lesson Ada, that it was from one kit from AliExpress, but I didn't use the fabric. I changed the fabric. So I, what I, it was white. So what I did was I coffee dyed it very lightly because the, the pattern has a lot of browns and, and burgundy and reds. So I just didn't want it to be white. So it's very, very beige, like real coffee, real light. And it has a little bit of modeling, but you can see it. So I ain't going to start that. I've been wanting to start this one for a while. Now it's going to get started. And as you can see, I'm not a seasonal stitcher. I'm starting Halloween, Christmas, all the things. So then I'm going to start my Madame Chantilly, the summer one. And I have the fabric that I've been doing all in. The next one that I'm going to start is a Chanel Christine. Oh. 
Hashanna Christine Rose Farm Frame. And I have a 22, it's like beige. It's not white. It's like a light beige, but I have a little note here that says to hand, to dye the fabric light blue. But I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, so it's gonna be in a 22 count 28 count even we oh yeah i think you see i didn't look at this because so i this is gonna be a change i'm gonna change this one because this one has a lot of white so i cannot stitch it in white that's what it says to hand dyed uh i mean i could hand dye it when i come back real quick that's no problem and just don't start it until the fabric is done because the white won't show the next one that i'm going to start it is a Teresa cougar patreon my heart is fed and i'm doing it in a 14 count beige fabric so that one is going to get started. Next one, I am going to start Bella Filipina, um, Aquila, Queen of the Skies. I mess up the picture. And I am going to be using a 18 count. Far Fiolage, it was Fabric of the Month, November 2023 by Stitch Me. Be Stitch Me. Beautiful fabric. So she is going to go there. This is the only one because the other ones I have it, the other ones that I had kit up there, my whip go. So this one was just there to start and I was like, oh, I could start her. I am gonna start Mr. Turkey, Uber Turkey by Ben Creek. I am using a autumn silk for all this part of the turkey. The back of the turkey is gonna be with this. The rest is gonna be called for, but I want this to be this. And then I'm using a 14 count vintage oh by Hobby Lobby. Next one, another Madame Chantilly. It is going to be my 4th of July tier tray. And it's the same fabric that I have I have for all of them that great vintage fabric this one it is gonna be stitcher graphic by the fat quarter shop it was this was released for work cross stitch day in 2021 is this one right here I want to do this finish to a bobbin so I, I gotta find out where you could get that oh they uh, spot quarter shot sells that so I gotta order I don't know if they still have it that was 2021 I do have the the floss I bought the pattern with the floss and I have a 16 count white Ada, so all the colors could pop in there. I'm excited for this one. I mean, I'm excited for all of them, the whips and that one. Next one, I'm gonna start ahead. I am gonna start mini rose trellis in. 
right here. It's a beautiful big Victoria house. And I am doing it in a 22 count. It's already gritted. It's going to be one over one full crosses. So, is it like that? No, it's like this. I was like, no, it's like this. So, it's not big because it's a mini. So, it is 240 by 390. So, can't wait to start that. I have enough to start it. I get them as I need them because it gets pricey um getting all these floss at once so i get them as i need them i buy like 10 or 15 to get started the first page and then i get them this one is another madame chantilly it is the spring one which <laughs> we are in spring so and then the same fabric and last but not least i gotta throw in there a printed kit because I want to get rid of them so this is a very small one so it is it's a christmas one it is this one so i need to put an easy one right the one that i don't have to think it is confetti heavy though so this is it This is it. So whatever I could do, I would do. Yeah. So, so that is my thirteen new stars and my eighteen um. Ugh, a lot of backstitch. I hate backstitch. Yeah. So my eighteen whips and my 13 new start for the month of may i am gonna focus only on stitch mania everything else will be put on hold on to june because i want to give it uh a good 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 time to this to this one there's a few that i think if i give it my complete four hours let's see i get home at five five 30 if I don't go around. I could stitch until 11, 11. I don't go to sleep until 1 o'clock anyway. Um, I could stitch. We'll see. I don't know. I don't make plans. Uh, whatever happened that day, that's what it is. But anyway, um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hopefully i'll see you again when i well the first week of may so i return the the first so my nest the first so yeah so that week i will stitch my stitch manias and then i'll do um so i'll see you guys again on may 5th with my YouTube and I did work a few pieces so I'll show you that when I do the first YouTube of May <coughs> YouTube the first floss tube of May I will show you I think I work on two pieces so I will show you those plus whatever I have work on um, the new stars and the web. So we'll see what happened. So anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye now.